Uh, let's go into our App Center now. You can also install antivirus and surveillance station, uh, backup station, so you can back up your Macs or Windows computer. And uh, you can also install Plex on this and all that other stuff. Let me show you what they have available in the App Store. Uh, updates are automatic, so let's just go ahead and update this. And we can go and see what apps we have that are ours. Uh, these are pre-installed. Uh, we can see your licenses, whether you have a license for the IP camera that you want to hook up. And now let's check out all the apps. We have Photo Station. We have Video Station. Let's add that. We have Download Station. We could download BitTorrents. We have a new to 4.1 uh, is the uh, Notes. And we'll just keep going down. Uh, we have a Q Airplay, which works great. Uh, you'll be able to send any of your uh, videos or whatever to your Apple TVs and Airplay devices. Uh, what else do we have? We have all these ones here. Most of them I'm not going to use, but uh, it's nice to have. Uh, let's continue down. Uh, we have Multimedia Station. That's another one. Now, you really don't need Multimedia Station, Video Station, all that stuff. I mean, if you just installed Plex and pointed it to the Multimedia folder, you basically got everything you need. Let's add Plex because that is my uh, favorite uh you know, service that gives me all my videos on all my devices because Plex is everywhere. Uh, and the good thing about Plex is you can also access it from outside of your home. Uh, you have a PlayStation 3 uh, media server and you have Twonky Media, which is nice for Roku owners because uh, you can set up the server, point it to the multimedia folder and uh, AirPlay sort of or Beam uh, your content from your NAS to your uh, Apple TVs or even your Roku or Google TV. You have Transmission, that's an app for BitTorrent. You got Video Station, let's add Twonky, and um, we'll just keep going down the list. You got Headphone, that's like looking for music, uh, BitTorrent search kind of thing. Mantis, um, you have the Elephant, uh, you have uh, access to the Elephant Drive and all that other stuff too. Uh, they give you uh, ways to connect, but with QSync and uh, you know all that, you really don't need uh, most of these services. Everything is redundant after a while. You know, um, you know, don't get confused when you start configuring everything. Basically, like I said, put Plex on here as a server, and there you go. You got all your media. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you: there's partners, and there's also Beta Lab where you can get some beta apps but basically this is pretty much all the stuff that they have um, you know as 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 of today uh, you know with these apps so that's pretty cool and um, you know they're telling you the essential apps to get but like I said you really don't need them if you want to just use Plex so DJ uh, station you know they got a whole bunch of stuff you can install things manually so like third parties that are not listed here uh, you might be able to get um, you know them installed onto your NAS now the one thing I didn't uh, like uh, was there's not a huge community for QNAP believe it or not you try to look for third-party apps uh, on the Google searches and you really don't find uh, that much uh, with the Synology uh, when I use that uh, there was a large community and a lot of people uh, you know giving you third-party apps and ways to configure your favorite torrent sites and things like that and I found it a little bit hard in download station so here's download station and they have a form uh, but you know you, you you put it on and you basically do a beat uh, BitTorrent search or RSS feeds and you can get all TV shows and things like that but when I try to configure my uh, torrent day that's the one I use it's a uh, members only uh, it's hard to try to configure you have to try to figure out things when when with the Synology it was easy because uh, they have communities that give you automated services that install these links and things like that but you know if you're not big on that and basically what do we use the NAS for we're gonna use NAS for two main things storage and multimedia server so if you're looking for 
a way to serve your media. You're looking for a way to get storage, back up your computers, maybe use a VPN. Uh, you can get a QNAP and uh, or a Synology. And if you're just looking to store stuff on your local network, then maybe Drobo is the way to go. There's always third-party software uh, you can use. And uh, that's pretty much it with the 4.1.0 uh, QNAP software. Uh, go down here, download your mobile apps so that you can get on now. Uh, because we set up the my QNAP cloud and you can also go and go down here and get QNAP utilities and then there's a bunch of utilities that you can use uh, to sync stuff so if I installed this uh, app onto my Mac uh, I'll be able to use the QSync folder that's on my NAS and sync things back and forth eight terabytes worth uh, or whatever amount you have in your disk array. And then QFinder we used. QGET is um, a way to download uh, some stuff that you have on, like, say, your mobile browser, and there's a link, and you want to send it over to your QNAP for storage. You could do that. So I, I suggest uh, you check out all of what the QNAP has to offer, and we'll see what happens in our next video. Maybe... Uh, we'll do HD station. Uh, I'll show you more detail on download station with the BitTorrents. Uh, we'll show you how to create folders. Uh, I'll show you all different types of things. So here's my QNAP cloud. That's our service. It's, uh, you know, just for me. And I have my devices here. And I can search all my folders and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you understand what you're going to be looking at when you first get your QNAP and uh, you know how things kind of work. Um, I'll get more into detail like I said. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next video. Thank you. Any questions, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.